Hello students. In our previous video, we solved this first subdivision that is y double dash plus 4y equal to cos x. So now in this video, let us solve the second subdivision y double dash plus 4y equal to sin 2x. This problem has appeared in one of the question paper in the previous years. Using the annihilator method, find a particular solution of each of the following equations. So we shall do this problem now. Now here the given question is of the form L of y equal to B of x. So it is a non-homogeneous equation. Now where this B of x is equal to sin 2x. So sin 2x. Now we have to choose an annihilator operator capital M for this B of x. So according to this B of x. Now if you see B of x is sin 2x. It is of the form sin ax and the annihilator operator for sin ax is y double dash plus a square. Now here instead of a at the place of a we are having the value 2. And so the annihilator operator capital M is equal to y double dash plus a square which is 2 square. And so therefore we will choose the annihilator operator capital M to be equal to y double dash plus 4. So this is the annihilator operator. Now we have to operate with M on both the sides of this equation. That is M of L of y is equal to M of B of x. So now... When we do so, what is m y double dash plus 4? This has to be operated on L of y. L of y is y double dash plus 4y. So y double dash plus 4y is equal to m of b of x. So m is y double dash plus 4 of b of x is sin 2x. So sin 2x. So now when we operate this, we will be getting so y double dash of y double dash will be y differentiated four times so we can write it like this then we will do this that is plus four when you differentiate y twice so we will get y double dash so we can write it in this form so y2 then four multiplied with y double dash so four y y double dash can be written in this way and 4 multiplied with this. So 16y is equal to. The first one will be y double dash of sin 2x. So sin 2x when you differentiate it once. You get it to be cos 2x multiplied by 2. And then when you differentiate for the second time. You get it as 4 uh, sin 2, uh, 2x with a negative sign because cos when differentiated we, we get minus sign so 4 minus 4 sin 2x so here we get minus 4 sin 2x plus 4 multiplied with this so 4 sin 2x we could see that the right hand side turns out to be 0 and on the left we have y differentiated 4 times plus these two are same so 8y differentiated twice plus 16y is equal to 0. Now this equation is a homogeneous equation. So we have to find the characteristic equation of the of this characteristic polynomial of this equation and equate it to 0 and find the linearly independent solutions. But we know that the characteristic polynomial of m of l of y. So this is actually m of l of y. This is what? So, m of l of y is equal to characteristic polynomial of m multiplied with characteristic polynomial of l. So, now from this we obtain what is the characteristic polynomial of m? m is this that is uh, we had sin ax and the characteristic polynomial is r square plus a square. So here a is equal to 2. So r square plus 2 square which is 4. This is the characteristic polynomial of m. Multiplied with the characteristic polynomial of l. What is the characteristic polynomial of l? It is r square plus 4. So that we have to write here. So r square plus 4 is equal to 0. So from this we get r to be equal to plus or minus 2i and uh, it is of multiplicity 2 multiplicity 2 because 
here also we have r squared plus 4 and here also we have r squared plus 4 so we will be having four roots where two of its roots is 2i and the other two uh, two roots is minus 2i so in which case the value of alpha will be 0 because the real part is not there so it is 0 and the imaginary part b is equal to 2 so this is what now uh, from that we can understand that phi 1 of x will be equal to uh, c1 actually e power alpha 1 sine beta 1 x and then phi 2 of x will be equal to c2 e power alpha 1 cos beta 1 x similarly phi 3 will be equal to c3 e power now second thing alpha 2 sine beta 2 x and then phi 4 will be c3 e power alpha 2 uh, cos beta 2 x but if the four roots are i mean if the two um, imaginary roots are different then we will be having this but here we have the two imaginary roots to be same that is it is of multiplicity 2 then what the uh, um, uh, independent solution will be we have to multiply this with an x and this also with an x so this is how we get it so remember that so this will be c3 x e power alpha 2 sine beta 2 x and uh, this will be c4 x e power alpha 2 beta cos beta 2 x it is because uh, it is of multiplicity 2 so this will be multiplied by x so now the general solution xi of x can be written as equal to c1 alpha is 0 anyway so e power alpha 1 so this will be 0 so you will have only sine beta x which is sine 2x plus c2 cos 2x in a similar way plus here c3 you will have an x anyway alpha is 0 so e power 0 is 1 and you will have sine 2x because again the beta 2 is also 2 only okay and then plus c4 x cos 2x so this is your xi of x so from this we observe that this value is the solution phi of x because it is the solution of the linearly independent i mean it is the solution of the homogeneous equation l of y equal to 0 so what is l of y actually y double dash plus 4y when you have it as 0 it will be r square plus 4 equal to 0 and its root roots will be plus or minus 2i and this will be the solution of phi of x so definitely this must be your xi p of x if you see my previous videos you will understand this more better uh, how we disaggregate phi of x and xi p of x okay the initial videos on annihilator problem is uh, is more clear so now this is xi p of x so therefore your xi p of x will be equal to c3 x sine 2 x plus c4 x cos 2 x now we know that the particular solution cannot have the constants c3 and c4 we need to eliminate these constants for which we have to find xi p dash of x first which is equal to so when we differentiate this with respect to x now here you have to apply uv method and you have to differentiate so c3 we will have it as such so x we will write it and sin 2x when differentiated we get 2 cos 2x plus now we will have sin 2x as such and differentiate x the differentiation of x is 1 so this will be only sin 2x so this is the first derivative of um, this term plus c4 multiplied with first we will have x as it is and we will differentiate cos 2x we are using uv method here the differentiation for cos 2x is actually minus 2 sin 2x plus now cos 2x we shall have it as such and we shall differentiate x which is 1 so here we will have cos 2x so this is xi p dash of x so for convenience let me just rewrite this very clearly and let me have it so xi p dash of x will be equal to so this c3 we will have it as it is so this we can write it as sin 2x plus 2x cos 2x plus c4 multiplied with this cos 2x i will write first okay minus 
टू एक्स साइन टू एक्स नो फ्रॉम दिस आई हैव टू फाइंड जाई पी डबल डैश ऑफ एक्स सो आई हैव डन जाई पी डबल डैश ऑफ एक्स हियर सो वेन वी डिफ्रेंशिएट जाई पी डैश ऑफ एक्स अगेन वी गेट दिस विच ऑन सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी अराइव एट जाई पी डबल डैश ऑफ एक्स टू बी इक्वल टू दिस नाउ फ्रॉम द गिवन इक्वेशन वी नो दैट वाई डबल डैश प्लस फोर वाई इज ईक्वल टू साइन टू एक्स सो दिस इज एल ऑफ वाई इक्वल टू बी ऑफ एक्स नाउ वी वी नो दैट जाई पी डैश आई मीन जाई पी इज अ पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन ऑफ एल ऑफ वाई विच मीन्स दैट एल ऑफ जाई पी विल सैटिस्फाई दिस इक्वेशन बी ऑफ एक्स सो एल ऑफ दिस जाई पी सैटिस्फाईज एल ऑफ वाई इक्वल टू बी ऑफ एक्स दिस इक्वेशन सो वेन वी सब्सटीट्यूट दिस ओवर हियर वी गेट जाई पी डबल डैश प्लस फोर मल्टीप्लाइड विद जाई पी इज इक्वल टू साइन टू एक्स so just now we have found zai p double dash over here so we can substitute that in this place and zai p we have it in our here we have zai p here so this zai p also we can substitute there and we obtain this to be equal to so what do we get is so after substitution we obtain this you can check this one this is fully actually zai p double dash of x then For plus four zai p of x, so four has been multiplied with zai p of x, and I have written here is equal to sine two x. So let's simplify this furthermore. So we see that four c three x sine two x gets cancelled with um, this is negative, this is positive. So these two terms gets cancelled, and also negative four c four x cos two x positive four. C four x cos two x. So this these two gets cancelled. So the remaining will be this. That is four C three cos two x, and then the remaining will be next this. So minus four C four sine two x is equal to sine two x. So this is what we obtain. Now comparing the left hand side and the right hand side, the coefficient of sine two x is one here, and here it is negative. 4 c4 so this will be equal to 1 which implies that the value of c4 is equal to negative 1 by 4 so we have obtained the value of c4 next we don't have the cos term here because of that we can understand that 4 c3 which is the coefficient of cos 2x will be equal to 0 because on the right we don't have cos 2x which means it's uh, we can consider its coefficient to be 0 and so we get this to be 0 from which we can write c3 is equal to 0 so See the value of c four is negative one by four, and the value of c three is equal to zero. This has to be these two values has to be substituted in this zai p of x. That is this solution. So when we substitute c three and c four, we will get the answer. But c three is equal to what? It is equal to zero. So when you substitute zero here, this full terms vanishes, and c four is what? Negative one by four. So when you substitute negative one by four, we get zai p of x to be equal to Minus x by four cos two x, so that we can write here. So that I have written here. So this is the particular solution. So we have obtained the particular solution. Actually, in the question, they have asked us to find the uh, particular solution only. So with this, the problem gets solved. So we are done with the answer. We can stop it. So for your reference, I am generally taking this zai p of x and I am substituting in zai of x. That is this equation zai of x. Just to write the most general solution. Already we have phi of x here. Now this is what we have evaluated. We have evaluated c three and c four, and we have got zai p of x by eliminating those two constants. Now as a whole, the solution can be written in this way. That is taking and substituting everything. We get. This is to be equal to negative one by four x cos two x plus. There we have already c one sine two x plus c two cos two x. So this is the most general solution of the given problem. The third subdivision will be solved in the next video. Hope you have understood this. Thank you.